In 2019, I'm going to read 1,000 books and go to the gym 500 times. No, I won't. I'm just scamming myself big time. I absolutely hate New Year resolutions, and I'll tell you why. basic premise of a new year's resolution is that you have a bad habit that you want to lose or you want to acquire a new good habit but then why did you wait until the new year to address the problem secondly there is no planning there is intent that they want to achieve a goal but there's no follow-through behind that intent to actually make a schedule or to have some activities in that plan as to how they are going to achieve that. And thirdly, there is no tracking. Usually people do these kind of resolutions to kind of like a, make a gesture, do something to fix a problem. But there's no tracking and because it's a new resolution, the assumption is that they're going to take stock of the situation next year. Doesn't seem like there's real motivation, does it? Now you're going to ask me, Sunny, those are all the problems, but what's the solution? Being the good friend I am, I'll give you the solution. First of all, if you really want to fix the problem, don't just utter the words, make a clear plan. For example, have a manageable target. As in, don't say you are going to read a thousand books. Say you are going to read 52, one a week. Once you get into the habit, you'll probably end up reading much more than 52. But you have to have a plan that's manageable and achievable. Secondly, make a plan. Have, if you want to read once a week for two hours, make a plan to read like which days you're going to read and for how many hours. Or make a plan to just read like half an hour every day. And make a plan to track whatever you have decided because if you are just going to check this after a year, that's not going to work. You should have a plan to track it like maybe two months down the line, it's two months after you made the resolution, have you read eight books? If you have not, then you need to make a, make a change in your plan as in read less, read more. Because if you have a smaller target, you would actually be happier when you read more than that, when you achieve more than you had planned. Tracking of a goal is very important because sometimes you miss the activity that you wanted to do a couple of times and then you feel like you have completely lost the goal and it's hopeless. Uh, but you don't know that you might be making more progress than you thought. That's why always track your goals, your resolutions or whatever you are trying to achieve. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Sunny, you talk a good game, but do you do all these things yourself? 
Well, the answer is absolutely not. I don't wait for the new year to fix my problems. Now I will pause here for a minute so you can say, but Sunny, you are perfect as you are. You don't have any problem. Go on. Guys, I will level with you. I have many areas where I want to change some habit or where I want to make a change or improvement in my personality or in my behavior. I don't do new year resolutions. I told you I hate them. But I like to do something called continuous improvement. Japanese have a word for it. It's Kaizen, which means continuous improvement. So for example, I know you want examples, so I will give you examples from my life. 2018 has been very kind to me, very kind. February, I got a chance to go to Thailand with my family, which was a very fun trip. But I knew I had to work on my photography skills, so I made detailed plans for all the days there. For example, first day, where am I going to shoot the sunset? Where am I going to shoot the sunrise? And so on and so forth. Some of those plans worked, and some of those plans I slept through. But still, I took a lot of good photos, and I made progress with my photography. That's hot. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's better. So after I came back from Thailand, a couple of months later, I got British citizenship. Thank you, thank you. But as soon as I knew that I was going to get it, I started making plans for my first travel to Paris. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, Brexit, blah, blah, blah. I know, guys, I know. But I wanted to do the same thing there. I took my camera gear, took my filming gear and made detailed plans for lots of filming there. As a result of making detailed plans, I managed to do a modeling photo shoot, tons of landscape photos and a lot of film clips. I'll share some of that footage with you in later vlog episodes. After I came back from Paris, my nephew came to visit me in England from India and he's also into photography and cinematography. So we made plans to do some travel together and do some photography projects, some film projects. Well, not like every day of his visit we had planned in detail, but we did plan a few projects so that we could work together and collaborate and both of us benefited from that. I know that I need to work on my photography and cinematography skills, so I make these projects on a continuous basis and it's easy for me to track the progress for them through my Instagram and my YouTube pages. But enough about me. What do you guys think? How do you handle this difficult topic of self-improvement? Do you do new resolutions? Do you carry them on? Do you follow them all the year round or do they get dropped off somewhere in February? I would really like to hear from you. So give me your comments, share your thoughts. Uh, and if you have any tips about uh, new resolutions or self-improvement, um, share them in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. See you in 2019. Happy New Year. Oh, I almost forgot guys. Please like the video and share it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. And Happy New Year.